hello cancer welcome to your full moon in aquarius reading full moon is occurring on august 22nd 2021 and this full moon is also closing out the lion's gate the lion's gate occurred on august 8th and you usually it starts to open about two weeks before stays open and starts to close two weeks after so the lion's gate is about to close a major portal for change and then it's closing with this full moon in aquarius aquarius is ruled by jupiter jupiter is a planet of abundance brings in abundance of and love into our lives jupiter is the expansion makes things bigger this is a time of manifestation manifesting big okay manifesting your big dreams and speaking of manifestation uh, tomorrow night we on the moon, full moon at 9 p.m eastern time on my vlog channel which that link is in the description box below i will be doing a live manifestation that you're all welcome to participate. So make sure you head over there. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when my life begins. Okay? <clears throat> now, as always, this reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and check out your other planetary placements as they become available. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and dig in. Working through your fears. Okay, that is part of this full moon experience. Because, you know, as we, in order for us to allow the universe to come in and bless us with abundance and love and joy, peace, we have to kind of release all the negative energy all the negative self-talk and you know and releasing those fears and that's what's working through your fears working through your fears to bring about that sense of abundance to allow the universe to bless us okay blossoming Beautiful energy. This is the flower moon. This is things coming into full bloom. This is a representation of getting in touch with nature, grounding yourself, and becoming the person that you wanted, wanted to be. Giving birth. And your dreams blooming and becoming realized and manifesting abundance into your life. Manifesting your desires, your hopes, wishes, and dreams. <clears throat> Beautiful energy. Okay, so let's dig into your reading. Okay, we have one card flipping out. Okay, <clears throat> we have the Ace of Cups and the Justice card. So it, <clears throat> it looks like, okay, we have the sun underneath. This is actually very positive here. You know, <clears throat> things working out in your favor Justice being served, you getting the love that you deserve, the love that you deserve coming into your life, bringing about a sense of happiness, you know, moving into that Empress energy <clears throat> as you're going into this full moon. There is this sense of abundance, sense of self-worth, valuing yourself, being strong and in a very loving nature, self-love, and the Empress gives birth. 
So this is about you giving birth to new love and the, and the universe intervening and bringing that in, bringing it in what you deserve. Seven of Pentacles, evaluating and assessing. So you, I think that you've been taking some time to look at things. Five of Wands. So I do get this sense of evaluating, realizing your self-worth, your self-love, <clears throat> making the proper decision to move forward on an emotional level, on a spiritual level, allowing new love to come in, unconditional love. I feel that there's unconditional love from spirit coming into your life as well. There is a lot of blessings. You're reaping some rewards. Your patience paying off here. Page of Pentacles. Six of Swords. King of Wands. Five of Pentacles. I just want to make a little note here that my Gemini said the Five of Pentacles is a potential outcome as well. And don't cringe at that. I'll explain that in a moment. Okay, so folks, we do, like I said, we have here getting new love, getting the unconditional love that you deserve is the central focus. Inviting that love into your life. Having that sense of of happiness now i feel like there's a fear that you will never find happiness because this isn't kind of like in the shadow position underneath underneath the sub in the subconscious underneath the surface you know things that are in the shadow things that are this is more like my fears position weaknesses not allowing yourself yourself to shine. Maybe being in an energy, you you are in an energy of doubt. Maybe feel like you, you didn't deserve love. But there's a sense of coming out of that, needing to come out of that, and finding that value, finding value in yourself, that self worth. That self-love, being very nurturing to self, being very powerful. The Empress does not have to chase abundance. She creates it. She gives birth to it. it she attracts that abundance. You know, and I'm seeing that green there. The green representing the heart chakra, the heart space. So you are in this sense of, I'm, I'm, I really feel that this full moon is bringing a sense of self-discovery, maybe even self-love. Because so I'm feeling like there was a lack of self-love. You know, a lack of happiness and contentment. You know, not... Uh, uh, more like not being able to see the, the positive in things, the silver lining. And I get the sense of the half being the glass being half empty instead of half full. But things are turning around. You know, you're definitely thinking about your goals. You know, some of you might even be thinking about your stability. You've planted the seeds. You've been patiently waiting and it's, and you've been thinking about this a lot. Patiently waiting on your abundance, on what is yours to come to you. And you are in the process of assessing your life right now. 
This full moon brings that assessment, makes us take a closer look at ourselves, not just on the outside, but internally as well. And you're kind of, and you are sitting in this energy of the page of pentacles. The page of pentacles is studying, learning, communications, taking a practical approach. Now, there is some kind of internal struggle coming up in the near future. And I feel like you're sitting in this energy. I think this is an internal struggle. Because it's almost like you're trying to overcome some kind of negativity. As you're trying to push the negativity out and bring the positivity in, it's like that little devil sitting on your shoulder trying to whisper negative ideas, negative thoughts into your head. <clears throat> There's a lot of doubt. But I'm also hearing that you could be coming up against some sort of conflict, competition. But at the same time, I'm hearing things turning out in your favor. But through your due diligence, your patience, I think you've learned a lot from this situation. You've learned a lot about everything that you've gone through in your past. The Page of Wands also evaluates. It's like taking a look at where you're at right now. And there's a sense of moving forward. You know, the environment is indicative of being able to push past and move away from troubled waters. The sixes bring about the need to push on, be persistent, perseverance. Through your perseverance, these conflicts you're going to be able to leave behind. I'm trying to get a time frame. Yeah, I'm hearing five weeks. So you, you're just going to have to go through this for a little bit longer. I keep hearing five weeks. Okay, just so you know, it's a timing. In your hopes, what you're wishing for. You're hoping... This is um, fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You might be dealing with a fire sign. But I think you are hoping that, that there's a, a decision that is made. And it's almost like you want a fast decision. A quick decision. This he is the lower vibrational energy of the emperor. He's and it's like you're you're trying you're hoping to find to that fire to be lit. You're trying to find that ambition and that drive to push on. But I just get the sense that the next step is setting some boundaries. You know, not giving up. Sticking to your guns. And with a potential outcome as a five of pentacles. 
I almost feel like uh, with the energy, the way that this is going, I'm feeling like this is You know, you may have been, there may have been some kind of loss of money, but with this justice card here, I'm almost feeling a recovery. Recover of something taken from you, stolen from you, or a recovery from kind of lacking in some area, whether it's lack of love, lack of money, finances. There's definitely a sense of struggle here. And again, I'm getting five. So you have a lot of five energy here. <clears throat> Fives are struggles and conflicts. But I'm hearing the resolution. Working through your fears. Facing those fears, facing those conflicts. But things are going to turn out okay. You're, they're going to blossom. I feel this sense of a purge happening here. A purging of energy. A purging of negativity. Okay. We're going to dig in a little bit further here. Okay. Tell me more about this. Justice with the Ace of Cups, please. Justice with the Ace of Cups. Okay, you have the Hermit card. It's Virgo energy. You know, this is wise counsel. You know, I think that this is drawing upon somebody wise or getting advice. This could be spiritual advice. Or trusting in your higher self. With a nine of cups. Okay. So I feel that some through some wise counsel, wise advice, you are going to obtain your goals. You are going to get what you want. You're going to get exactly what you deserve. What you what you that happy, content family, that blissfulness, the rainbow coming out, putting the past be putting the hurt, putting the struggles behind. Okay, what? Tell me more about this. These struggles here that's coming up. This conflict, please. With the five. Okay. <clears throat> Three of cups. This is like a group of people. This could be a friendship or acquaintances. You know, people. A group of people arguing. This could be in your place of residence or in your neighborhood, in your place of work. Okay, but I feel like that there, after this argument, there's going to be a celebration. I feel like that you're going to be able to celebrate after this conflict is over. The moon. Okay. The moon is trusting your intuition and your instincts. You know, I feel that through this conflict, there's going to be something hidden under the surface that's going to come to light that you're going to be able to celebrate over. It is like the break that you have been waiting for. Three of Wands, another three. Growth, expansion, expanding your horizons. Your ship's coming in. So five weeks, you're going to see some results. From everything that you have invested. All the time. The energy. Money. Love. Whatever your scenario is. You're going to start seeing some tangible results here. In about five weeks. Your ships are going to come in. Okay. Let's clarify this environment. The Six of Swords. This, uh, I don't think I need a lot of clarifying on it. It's pretty simple that you're moving out of the troubled waters. 
You've manifested a, a resolution. You have the tools and resources. It's up to you to take action to move out of this. There might even be a, um, a Virgo or Gemini involved in assisting you of moving forward. Queen of Pentacles, more Virgo energy. That's This is my pre-Empress energy. She's abundant. She's love. She's nurturing. Practical. I think that you are taking your practical knowledge and experiences and taking that and moving forward. There could be an earth sign, particularly a Virgo, that is assisting you in helping you get out of the troubled waters. Okay, I'm being called to get another card here. Seven of Cups. I feel like that there's you're going to have a lot of options open up to you. I'm seeing the rainbows. I'm seeing all this abundance. You know, sometimes we see this as confusion, indecision. But with the flow of the reading, I'm reading it as options. It is like you are going to have some options. And there is definitely somebody significant, somebody <clears throat> assisting you. Okay, let's see more about this Five of Pentacles. I do feel like the Five of Pentacles is about to end. Let me see. Let's get clarifying on this Five of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. The Knight in Shining Armor. A big change. Mental clarity and mental communication. Very swift communication coming in. Ten of Wands. You know, this is the ending of a struggle, dropping the wands. You've been carrying a heavy financial load on your back, or <clears throat> you might have been carrying the load of a relationship on your back, being ghosted or feeling like out in the cold, you know, feeling a lack. But being able to drop the wands, there's a swift change that you're going to be able to drop things. The Fool, a leap of faith, a new start, a new beginning, a new journey. Returning to innocence. The Emperor, somebody in a place of authority. I'm telling you, there is somebody, and this is Aries energy. And the Fool is Aquarius energy. There is definitely somebody in a place of authority. That is coming in. There's going to be a very swift, very quick decision being made. That I feel is turning out in your favor. <clears throat> this You're going to be able to gain some sense of control. And to build a new life. Three of Pentacles. Cooperating with other people. Working as a team. So there, I feel like there is this new opportunity. That you're going to be working with a group of people. Okay. Could be with children. Or somebody of the past. Page of Swords. Who's speaking their truth. Who's, doing, who's playing private investigator. And I feel they're not investigating you per se but they're investigating a situation it's like somebody looking out for you leo energy that there's a very strong sense of truth willpower it's i think like there's somebody that's going to be behind you pushing you to try to to Help you progress to evolve. Nine 
Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. So you're hit, you're nearing the finish line. You may be tired right now. And you just want things to be done. You want the final resolution. It's coming, my friends. And you're going to be able to relax. Enjoy life. Be stable and standing on your own two feet. There'll be a sense of independence. You're regaining independence here. And my guides are saying to leave that there. So my cancers, you have a lot of abundance coming in. But there's also a lot of negative energy to clear out. There's still some things that you are working through, working on. There's still some conflicts involved in the mix through this full moon. But remember, you feel the full moon for days afterwards. And this is a profound full moon because it is tying up the lion's gate. So with that said, you know, there is a profound change. I do feel that the effects of this full moon is not just for a few days. This is a long-term effect. Got to be in it for the long haul. Anyhow, that's what I have for you. I hope you found this helpful and useful. And you got something out of it. And I love you all. And blessed be.